food pantry, we have the uh, pantry director, Susan Gehagen, and the coordinator of their uh, event coming up, Joe Hart. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Great to have you here. Uh, the uh, Emanuel Food Pantry, one of uh, the longest serving food pantries in our community. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's well known and well done. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you have a, uh, a certain day each week that you distribute food? We are open every Saturday. We are open even if that Saturday is Christmas Eve. We will still serve during that time period. Um, occasionally, uh, we will also offer food if someone were to come to the church. But we try to get people to come on Saturdays. We're open from 9.30 to 11.30. And uh, it's pretty simple. How's been the, uh, the need, uh, particularly over the last couple of years? The need dropped, well, the need didn't drop, but the people who came dropped when COVID first hit. Uh. Now we're back up to about 170 families every week, which averages out to about, if I remember my numbers, about 496 individuals within that family unit that we are feeding every week. You know, and without them coming here, they probably wouldn't have the necessary food for several meals. We can't feed them for the entire week, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but we try to do at least a couple days. That's awesome. So they're counting on you every week. Yes. So it yes. takes a lot of um, people, a lot of money, a lot of donations. And Joe, that's where you come in. You've got a, a, a fundraiser. Yeah, uh, we're, we're having a, a 5K fun walk in, in Cascades Park and uh, we, we've gotten a number of sponsors. We, I think we're, we're, we've collected like about $2,500 at this point. Mm -hmm. And then uh, to be in the race, to sign up for the race, it's uh, $25 to walk. And then if you need a larger t-shirt, which I might, it's uh, $30. And then uh, children 10 and under are free, but they need to give us 10 bucks for a, a t-shirt. But uh, what we really need right now is more walkers. We, we've been very much blessed with lots of sponsors, but we, we don't have so many walkers. But our, our goal is to raise money for the food pantry and uh, you know, to, to help keep it going because it's such a vital you know, resource to our community, yes. Yeah, a lot of people, as Susan said, depend on that uh, each and every week. So to walk, uh, that sounds like a, a, a pretty, uh, pretty low um, energy um, walk. Nobody has, it's, uh, just take your own pace and there's... Right, it, it's, exactly. It's not gonna be timed, you know, and there won't be a winner. <laughs> and, and then uh, the, the course we're taking is actually two loops. And uh, one of them is 1.8 miles and the other is 1.3 miles and you add them together it comes out to 3.1 miles which is 5k mm -hmm. but it, it, if you wanted to come and walk and you're thinking boy you know three miles is a long ways you could take one of the, you could take the shorter loop and just walk a little over a mile and you'll still get a t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> and you can even take the shortcut yeah yeah you have um, some sponsors you wanted to mention? Yeah, we've been very blessed with sponsors. Uh, we, we've had uh, many of our community leaders, including like Consumers Energy and, and Polly's Food and Gordon and Myers and Bailey Excavating and American One Credit and Premier Sports and ERA Realty and D&D &D Thermal Products. And we've even had some people from outside the community like uh, Fiber Tech Environmental Services in Holt. And several members of our church have come forward and said they would be sponsors. And you can either sponsor for $100 or $250. There's, uh, and uh, we, people have really came forward with the sponsorship. Mm -hmm. If someone wants to just make a donation and they, maybe they're busy that day, they can't or won't. Don't you want to walk? They can. You bet. You bet. They can go to our website, and we're always going to accept donations and, and registration and sponsors. You know, and right. and uh, people can come on the day of the race and it, the walk, 
and if they don't want to walk, there will still be an envelope there where they could still donate and, and, and help the food pantry. Have you ever done this Out Walk Hunger, hunger uh, Fun Walk before? This is our first try at it. Hopefully first, first annual. Yes. I hope so. How long has the manual food pantry been in operation, Susan? In October, it will be 19 years. Oh my gosh, 19 years. <laughs> I know, isn't that wonderful? It, it says we're doing something right. Yeah. Something right. It's amazing. Where do people come from? Is it the neighborhoods? Is it uh, the church community? Actually, it's um, they're coming from all over all these days. Um, I've had them as far as Ypsilanti and Allen, um, down south into Homer, uh, Brooklyn, Grass Lake, I, just all over. You're a victim of your own success. I think so. <laughs> but we don't look at it that way. We're glad if they're hungry, they're coming. Yeah. That's the whole point. A lot of volunteers work the shelter, uh, the, not the shelter, the pantry. Oh, yes. We have a great group of volunteers. Okay. I, I love our volunteers. Yeah. Um, we have a core group that came with us when COVID started, and they're still with us. They work every single Saturday with occasional Saturday off. And then we have five different churches that come in on the various weeks of the month. And um, they're fantastic. They're just all happy people and they're so glad to be there helping people. And it makes my job a lot easier. If someone wants to donate um, food, um, I know you prefer the money because you mm -hmm. can buy from the uh, food bank, but. Mm -hmm. Are there times people can drop things off? Yes, we always will take food donations. One of the things that we have is what we call a bonus table. Okay. And we set it out there. And it's things that we have only like maybe three or four of or, you know, just not enough to put it out there for everybody. Yeah. And I tell you, the lady who runs our bonus table was gone for about a month, so we didn't have it. And every week, are you going to have the bonus <laughs> table? Are you? <laughs> so they look forward to it. It's a way of getting just a little bit extra, and who can't use a little extra? Sounds like a cool, cool feature. Yeah. All right, let's get people uh, signed up for the walk, and they do this. Should they do it online, Joe? Yeah, yeah, and, and you know what? Uh, I think you showed a slide about the address, but if they just go to www.emmanueljackson.org, it'll bring up a banner. And there on the banner, you can either click on registration or sponsorship. And I, I think that's the easier way to do it. I hope you have a beautiful weather day like today. Oh, wouldn't yes. that be nice? This, this good walking <laughs> weather, yes. Yeah, thanks for coming and hope you guys uh, have, a, have a great day. Uh, and successful event. Thank you. Yeah, and thanks for having us. You bet, and thanks for all you guys do at Emanuel Lutheran oh. and the Emanuel Lutheran Food Pantry. Oh, we're happy to do it. Uh, pantry you. Director Susan Gehagen and Coordinator of the Outwalk Hunger 5K Fun Walk, Joe Hart. That's it.